Hey YouTubers, Grimmy Dragon here, and once again it's review time, and today we're going to be taking a look at hopefully the last of my uh, Combiner Wars reviews, uh, save for maybe an exclusive set if I can get a hold of one. But uh, today we're going to be taking a look at Hound. So here we have Hound who is obviously a repaint of Swindle. Um, I guess that's the best they could do with him. And it's not a bad idea. I mean, Hound was a Jeep before. And an updated Jeep was uh, pretty good. It's not a bad idea. But you got all the classic Hound bits. You got the star on the front with the Autobot symbol on the side. Got the silver gun. Oh. You also got the this extra rear gun thanks to the hand foot gun. Um, still no hubcaps on those wheels, which is very disappointing. But it's a nice shade of green all in all. I got like the uh, roll bars, well the uh, hood detail or the roof detail. I'm sorry. Uh, looks pretty cool. It's definitely a good choice for Hound and I do like it. Now if you don't want to use the hand foot gun you can always uh, take this silver gun and put it on the sides if you'd like. Or actually it would be this side that's more appropriate and make it a little more Hound like where the gun was on the back. You could also unfold this. Just place the hand foot gun down like so. And put the other gun on top for a little bit more of an artillery mode. And hopefully my arm wasn't in the way of the camera back there I was doing that but yeah you got that option so yeah Hound has quite a few options to him just do it like this real quick and it's a cool figure now for a quick comparison we'll bring in the G1 Hound you can see uh, G1 still a little bit of a darker green and a little more Jeep like but they match up fairly well and then we'll bring in Universe 2.0 Hound who is a lighter green but is still closer in mold to the G1 so it but, you know, like I said, this makes for a nice updated hound. I, I do appreciate it. Let's get these out of the way so we can get one more comparison. And that's with, of course, Swindle. And yeah, these two look pretty good together. Uh, as far as repaints go, this isn't too bad. Most of the paint seems to be in the same exact spots, except for the uh, star that's tampoed onto uh, hounds. Uh, hood and a couple little uh, paint highlights on the headlights otherwise yeah it's just a matter of changing plastic colors at this form but uh, why don't we take a look at robot mode and see how it looks there So here we got Hound in his robot mode and he is looking quite good. I do like this particular one. Um, the paint job is done particularly well on this guy um, thanks to the fact that most of the paint went to the robot mode. But as you can see he's got like a silver waist, um, you know, silver faux headlights on his chest with a little bit of uh, fake grill detail. He also has some uh, 
you know, paint apps on his arms, on his legs. I mean, and it's in the right spot, so it looks good. I mean, this looks like a well-painted toy as opposed to the rest of the wave, which uh, the robot modes look like they were almost unpainted. So this one makes me happy. As you can see, the gun actually does fit on the shoulder uh, for a G1 accurate look. And it just goes on with a couple of little notches on the back of the gun that uh, just clip into either side of the inside of the hood or the inside of the roof. So that's pretty cool. Swindle had this feature as well, although I think earlier versions of Swindle didn't have it uh, from what I heard. Still, it's a nice feature. I do like it. And he can hold his hand foot gun as a gun. Which is always pretty cool. Now, for articulation, he does have a ball jointed head. Although, you can only going to get left and right movement. Maybe a little wiggle. Not much. Got ball jointed shoulders. So, you got full range of motion. Bicep swivel. Hinge knees over 90, which is good. That's nice. Um, he does have a waist swivel. Always good. Ball jointed hips. Thigh swivel. 90 degree at the knee. And he actually has ankle pivot. So, yeah, he's going to be very poseable. Which is awesome. Yeah, I do like that. And those feet are nice and stable, so he's going to have no trouble standing. And that's pretty cool. Now, for comparisons, well, we'll start off this time with, I believe we started off with him first time, but uh, we'll bring in Swindle. Zoom out just a little bit to get a better view. And there's a little bit more difference between these two uh, in robot mode, given that they have different heads. Uh, Swindle's got some more paint, um, purple painted onto him, which uh, helps separate him a bit. So yeah, he's definitely a little bit more different in this form. Since he's got a different head, let's get a closer look at it. Oop. Oh, too close. There we go. As you can see, it is a nice, very hound head. Which I do like. It's a great head sculpt for him. And it works out quite well. Oops. So, for other comparisons, let's bring in G1 Hound, who's very tiny next to this guy. It still looks cool. And Universe 2.0 Hound with kind of a fan moded way of putting the gun on the shoulder like the G1 toy. Even though technically he's not supposed to be able to do it. Too bad I like it like this. But as you can see there is a significant difference. This one is the taller of the bunch. Although I still like this one better for classics. Uh, that's just personal preference. If you don't, if you can't get a hold of this version of Hound, this Hound will do just fine. So um, this now we're looking at Hound's uh, combined form, which means for hopefully the very last time we're going to look at Skyrain. <laughs> but hopefully it's the last time because I don't like this form and I'm looking forward to taking them apart forever <laughs> okay without further ado Hound is pretty good as an arm you've got a nice joint there in and out that combiner peg always works so well I do like it got that usual double jointed elbow works great 
you got a wrist swivel you got bicep rotation very tight might want to be careful because those ball joints might uh, pop before the waist turns <laughs> but yeah it's very tight of course oh yeah and before I forget um, unfortunately the finger joints on hound here are very loose and kind of floppy so you do need to be careful of that but that's the only downside I've seen so far now hound also does become a leg and for that I'll show a picture right about here and it'll be there for a few seconds so enjoy that view but um, yeah that's uh, hounds combined form not bad not bad at all and that'll wrap things up for hound glad to finally get this one done and hopefully never have to assemble Skyrain again <laughs> unless I get the Takara version then it's well you know what's going to happen but uh, in any case I hope you guys have enjoyed this video Please like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. So until then, goodbye out there, whatever you are. <laughs>